In this video, we're going to be looking at Snell's Law. So let's set up a scenario. So what is the refractive index of a perspex block that alters a beam of light passing from air by 7 degrees? Noting that the beam of light enters at 69 degrees to the boundary. Well, let's start off by drawing our diagram. Okay, so we're going to draw the perspex block. So I'm just going to draw a basic rectangle. There we go, so there's our block. So we've got air on the outside, and our block is made of perspex. So I'll just label the block there, perspex. Next thing is I'm gonna put my normal at 90 degrees to the boundary surface and label it. Okay, now I know that it's at 69 degrees to the boundaries, the incident ray. Now remember, the incident ray should always be to the normal. So what I'm gonna to have to do is take this away from 90 to give me my incident ray to the normal, which is 21 degrees. Great. So now here's my refractive, refractive ray, and I know that this is um, the 21 degrees is altered by seven degrees by the perspex block. So that means my refractive ray is 14 degrees. So I've got my incident ray and I've got my refracted ray. Great, now I can use Snell's law to find the um, refractive index now the refractive index of perspex is basically going to be n perspex. That's what I'm going to label it up as. Now I don't know what that is, so I'm going to use Snell's law. So n will equal sine theta 1, which is the incident ray. There we are, 21 degrees. That's going to be sine theta 1, divided by sine theta 2, which is the refractive ray, which in this case theta 2 is going to be 14. So the perspex, refractive index of perspex will be sine 21 degrees divided by sine 14 degrees. That means the refractive index of perspex is 1.48. Thanks for watching.